Hey guys, Pablo with BND, and today, in a veteran's point of view, we're gonna take a look on the seven main things that you need to become a YouTuber in 2019. Sure, you all know you're gonna need the basics like a computer, editing software, a camera, or cell phone, but that's only 1% of the things you need to actually make it to YouTube. So today we're going to take a look if you got what it takes to actually become a YouTuber. Number one, a plan. All right, so you made your channel and you're ready to upload. Now, the main thing you have to think, what's your content? What niche are you trying to reach? One of the things you have to always to remember is it doesn't matter if you're interested in a subject. It doesn't mean your viewers actually going to be the same interest. And also, even if your content is interesting, are you actually being able to pass your message to your viewers? So you must be a critic. You need to look up other channels that have the same type of interest and actually find something that works for you. And look, it is okay to be inspired by other channels and a lot of times you're going to start emulating a famous YouTuber that you have interest on but with time you need to be able to develop who you are as a youtuber all right guys for number two have thick skin and i'll tell you this is probably one of the most important things on youtube it doesn't matter what your content is or what your niche is you will never be able to please everybody and it's not even to mention the trolls that lurk around the internet uh, a lot of times people will post stuff on the comments that have nothing to do with the video you made or anything at all. So you have to be very cognizant to those things too. So basically what I found out to do when I run into an issue like that is five important things. Listen, understand, discuss, improve, and thank your audience. And why do I say that? Believe it or not, I answer to every single comment made on my channel. You see, many times because of that, I was able to actually turn someone that had posted bad comments on my videos into someone that even defended me against other bad comments. And also guys, many times you will not be able to pass a message you're trying to pass in your video. So you, you have to always keep an open communication with your audience. So, if they have any issues, if they didn't understand where you're trying to pass, you're able to explain to them. And someone else that runs by this same comment may actually see what you're actually trying to pass them. And just understand, I'm not, I'm not saying like play a PR game with your audience. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, if you listen to your audience comments and you understand why they didn't understand what you're trying to pass, and you understand what they want you to improve on your videos I mean if people know you listen it will raise your num number of subscribers it will actually improve your videos and it will help you pass the message you're trying to pass to those guys and honestly if you cannot actually answer those comments with a leveled mind you're not ready to do YouTube alright number three think long term so can you keep your channel going on content alone? And what do I mean by that? Like, is your content wide enough that you can actually upload, let's say, three videos a week and keep going for a whole entire year? Is your content actually interesting enough that people won't just like pass by your channel, stay for a little bit, and then leave? The best way that I found to actually combat that is to pretty much not, not take my apples from the same tree. So, for example, uh, on Fridays, besides last week, I have a veteran's point of view. And that's basically the main thing on the channel for me. But I won't do it Fridays. On other days of the week, I cover Reddit posts. But I also don't try to take the same uh, subreddit from the post. So, that gives me a good thing going and give me a wide enough variety of things to discuss about. So veterans point of view for example there's always things going on in the world so 
I always gonna have something to talk about. And not only that, that may also help you to actually get subscribers from different niches into your channel. All right, number four, don't beat yourself up. And I see that a lot. So you just uploaded your first video to YouTube. Uh, and you know, you like everybody, you expect, wow, that's a great video, you know, I'm gonna have at least like a million subscribers in about two days and uh, about two million views. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. And you post on social media, you put in your Facebook, you know, uh, you live in a household of like five people with you, but somehow you only have three subscribers. Some are stiff in you. I got it. Hey man, just understand one thing. You know, so what you guys have to do is just keep uploading. Because if you stop to think, there is almost 8 billion people in the whole entire world. Uh, one thing you're going to see is a lot of times if people get to a new channel, they may not subscribe. They may keep an eye open for the channel. But if they only see the person has one or two videos, they don't know if that's a fluke. So keep uploading. People are going to come back. And most if you're in their niche, uh, YouTube gonna algorithm going to pick up your videos every now and then. People are going to see that you keep up, kept uploading. It doesn't matter if you have 10, 20 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers. And, um, you know, eventually people are going to sign up for you. So don't get beat up. Uh, you know, fame won't come from a day to the other. I'm still on 2,322 subscribers. I completely changed my channel. And honestly, I think I'm doing fine. I actually look at analytics all the time and I realize that YouTube's picking up more and more of my videos. So, hey, it, it's you go for the long run, man. You go for the marathon. And by the way, one thing I have to say, guys, uh, I'm really sorry if I say man, it, it's just slang, it's how I talk, okay, I also mean women, you know, children, uh, whatever you are, okay, and, and just one thing, you know, it's like, uh, they say in the movie Field of Dreams, if you build, they'll come, in your case, if you upload, they will subscribe, alright, I, I know, I almost say like everything is the most important thing and I think it's because those seven things are actually the most important things for you to succeed. Um, but number five, keep it clean. What do I mean by keep it clean? So there are many, many ways to keep it clean on YouTube. Basically, the worst thing you can do is you get 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, even a thousand and YouTube just shuts down your channel and you're out for good. Why those things can't happen? Uh, so one thing you guys have to understand if you want to do YouTube is strikes. So you have many types of strikes. You have community strikes, you have uh, copyright strikes. But one thing you guys have to understand is a lot of times you did nothing wrong and you still may get a strike or you may get a warning what you have to do, if you knew, if you know, you didn't do anything wrong, you did not use anybody's song without uh, the proper credit or without authorization, fight it. I did. I mean, my situation wasn't exactly a strike, that was a copyright claim. You get those every now and then. You have a lot of channels that try to throw strikes at you, even if you're not even from the same niche as those guys but they try to screw you over or at least like take some of your money away and if you don't notice, if you don't pay attention to those things yeah, they will probably get a bite of your money and the danger is you may actually get a strike in the end so what you have to do is always fight unless you know you're wrong, if you're wrong what you can do is remove the video right away um, and that's it, try not to mess up next time Okay, the other thing, if you guys are starting YouTube, you're going to see is uh, people going to be offering to sell you subscribers. And supposedly they're real subscribers, you know, or sell you real views. Or one of the things that is just as bad is sub for sub. So, I'll tell you this, those are other things that can actually get your channel shut down. I've seen channels that the guys were doing actually pretty decent, they didn't need those things, but the moment they start doing sub for sub or anything like that, they end up losing everything. So 
don't do it, it's not worth it. And plus, honestly, you will not actually be able to gauge how your videos are doing if you're buying views, if you're buying subscribers, because those guys, yeah, they may watch one video and that's it. You're gonna have 10,000 subscribers and no views, so it's just not worth it, okay? And plus you're gonna lose your channel and you're gonna lose all the money you invest on those things, so it's just bad business. All right, number six, learn from your failures. So one of the main things after you start on YouTube is you need to learn to read the analytics. And basically because that will actually give you a good view in what is working and what is not working in your videos. The only thing I say is don't, don't rush into it. That's what I'm saying, like you're being YouTube for a little while. Uh, basically because as any type of data, you need to give time, right? So a lot of times I put a video, uh, if I try to look at the analytics, first of all, they, they are usually delayed a couple of days, but they won't give me a good view. Uh, when I looked after a couple of weeks even, even if not a month, it gave me a better view. It showed me that as soon as the video came out, the first people watching, they watch it, let me say 30% of the video in average. Uh, but then when the videos start getting picked up by the YouTube algorithm, it actually showed to people that actually would have better interest and it pretty much like raised the numbers to about 70% of view time. So learn to read that. So the other thing analytics is gonna show you is uh, how many people subscribed after seeing your video. Uh, it's also gonna show how much, uh, how much of YouTube is actually recommending your content, uh, the clicks by impression ratio. Now, one thing I like to explain about clicks by impression, um, it doesn't usually have as much to do with the video itself as it has to do with your thumbnail and the title of the video. So, how do you improve things by looking at this data, for example? Well, if I did a certain thumbnail, um, you know, I put some really cool picture, a really nice title, and click-through ratio went from, let me say, 5% to like 10%, what is actually fairly good. Um, you know you should be doing thumbnails like this, instead of a thumbnail just showing my ugly mug like I used to do. So. <laughs> So th that, that's important for you to learn and I'm not going to teach the whole thing, I'm just saying you guys have to take a look. Uh, YouTube Creator Studio actually they have classes about it. If you don't understand something you should look it up. There are other YouTubers that pretty much only talk about analytics and things like that. So look up those videos. You have to do research. YouTube's a full-time job, believe it or not. Uh, one other thing you guys have to do research is upload times. So, like people keep talking, you know, uh, YouTube algorithm, how things work, so it's pretty much, if you guys look online, you will see the best upload times for every day of the week. And part that does help uh, YouTube to catch your video it also usually has to do like with times of the day where people usually watch videos, maybe because they're not at work, uh, everything depends on the age group, your niche is. So yeah, you know, research, research, research. If you're getting on YouTube because you don't want to work, uh, you shouldn't be here. Alright, number seven, be yourself and have fun. So. I know, in the beginning you're going to get inspired by someone and you may emulate the person like I talked about, that's fine. But one thing, uh, I think the best, best guy who ever said something like that was Jordy from Cinecon.net and he was discussing about when he became a YouTuber, uh, when he started his channel, he used to be like very proper, very uh, business-like. And yeah, well, the channel did okay, but 
then one day he decided, you know what, I can't do that, I have to start acting like myself. So if you guys don't know Cinecon.net, I mean, Jordy is one of the funniest guys I've ever seen on YouTube. Uh, he teaches people how to use After Effects, uh, how to do cinema effects, everything. Great channel, if you guys don't know, take a look, subscribe to him. So, he started being himself, and right now, I believe like two months ago, he just reached a million subscribers. And honestly guys, the best part, have fun. Imagine this, YouTube gives you the opportunity to actually reach out to people all around the globe, pass your message, help people. Guys, you may give people hope, dream, support, or even a letter when they most need that. You may also give information to people about be your country or anything that they wouldn't have without it. Okay? And most of all, you will inspire people. And for my last message, go forward, my pretties. Create, inspire, and make your lives extraordinary. And guys, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, hit the notifications button, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.